We're here today at the GridServe Electric Forecourt at Braintree for a meeting of the Electric Freightway Consortium. We've got some electric heavy goods vehicles together, probably the first time that the three brands uh, that we support in our consortium are all together at the same place. Uh, we've been testing some uh, charge power levels and we've been looking at how the vehicles present themselves to different chargers in preparation for the design of our public and our depot-based charging infrastructure for the zero emission HGV and infrastructure programme. Being a consortium member is really, really important for us because it's going to actually give us proof of concept and that's what operators are looking for at the moment. They need to understand that the trucks will actually do the job they're designed to do and of course facilities like we've got here today actually show us that they can actually charge those vehicles. At the moment, the main focus is out from the depot, back to the depot. It's long distance isn't there yet. We need to see more charging points on a, on a regular basis on service areas and, and truck stops so that it is possible to drive from London to Scotland with an electric truck. Although there are learnings from the car market, trucks are very different. These are operational, there's payload, there's commercials that sit behind it. So it's got to be reliable, it's got to be consistent. And as part of this scheme as well, a reservation booking system is going to be critical. Although the Braintree Electric Forecourt is not designed for trucks, I've been really pleasantly surprised at how we've been able to support the charging of these, these vehicles. That shows us we're starting from a good place uh, and we've got a lot to build on. We're looking to get a standard serving of 350 kilowatts into these trucks and aiming for, before the end of the project, to support megawatt ready charging. We've got a real broad range of hauliers and operators that we're engaging with over the life of this project and we'll enable them to, to use their vehicles in lots of different use cases and start to understand how they can expand their use over time. And these trucks aren't going to be parked up in a company HQ under a, under a green banner. These are going to be worked hard. We want our consortium members to really start to get confident with the vehicle, get confident with uh, the infrastructure that's being provided and then start to push the envelope over the life of the project. So these vehicles are going to be uh, providing data for, for five years once they're in operation. So that gives us a really good real world set of examples that others can follow in the in the wheel tracks uh, of these consortium members. Yeah.